Yeah, 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 yeah. You see the vibes, man. Low Brunson back at you with the back at you, and I am the best reporter on the Eagles. Listen, I'm out here pretty in the pink, man. You know what I mean? It's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. You already know we're making our contribution to the Susan G. Goldman Foundation, and we're going to keep it pushing like that, man. All the Breast Cancer Awareness merch. Bang, ribbon status. Ribbon status. All the Breast Cancer Awareness uh, merchandise is available via the print champs. You know what I'm saying? Go to the print shop. You know what I'm saying? Just check out my check out my merchandise and you're going to see it on there, man. Help yourself, man. 50% of the proceeds going to fight this terrible disease, man. That's disrupting disrupting all the women. You know what I'm saying? We're here to help combat that. You know what I mean? We got some stuff to talk about. You know, um, Howie Roseman and Doug Peterson, uh, you know, had a little animated discussion at practice. Now, listen, I'm not one for the fake drama. Either it's something or it's not. Being as though you can't see what it is, being as though you can't see what it is, I'm going to say, who knows what it is? They could have been talking about the traffic. They could have been talking about the weather. But you know what I'm saying? But if it's something that Doug Peterson should be talking to Howie Roseman about, it's about the, the structure of the team. It's about the personnel that he got to work with. Now, I praised Howie Roseman after the Super Bowl season. Howie Roseman put some pieces in play in 2017. Going out there to go get Jay Ajayi. Getting out Sean Jeffrey. He put some pieces in play that season. Then after that, even, even grabbing Nick Foles back. Then after that, it all went downhill. He, he grabbed Darby. He did a lot of stuff to get you the Super Bowl. And he did a lot of cheap stuff to get you the Super Bowl. Had a lot of guys on one-year deals. Didn't want to bring guys back. He didn't bring Blunt back after the Super Bowl season when he clearly had more left. You know what I'm saying? He, 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 just, he, just did, he just wasn't smart about it. Howie Roseman is striking me as a very, very cheap general manager. Now, general managers got to be cheap, but they still got to spend some guap sometimes. You, you're playing for a Super Bowl. You're not playing to save no money. Think about it. Besides Darius Slay, what's the one blockbuster move that Howie Roseman got under his belt? Give me a blockbuster move that Howie Roseman got under his belt. I don't know of any. I don't know of any, man. You know what I'm saying? A lot of these struggles that we're going through, man, you know, I'm looking at Howie Roseman with an extreme side eye right now. Howie Roseman is not constructing his team very well. He's doing a lot of cheap stuff. He's getting a lot of old people for cheap. And it got us looking the way we're looking right now. Deshaun Jackson ain't playing Sunday. Not playing Sunday. You know what I'm saying? Brandon Brooks is on a massive deal. Fletcher Cox is on a massive deal. You know what I mean? The deals that some of these guys signed and some of these guys got, they should be A, either available or B, dominating when available. Arguably, Fletcher Cox really not really not getting a lot done for us. You know what I'm saying? Darius Slade, that, that, that look like it's panning out. That look like it's panning out. But you can't totally blame Howie Roseman, but Howie Roseman is 80% of the blame, if you ask me. It's 80% Howie Roseman, 10% Carson Wentz, and 10% Doug Peterson, man. I'm giving 80% to Howie Roseman, man. The team is poorly constructed. You you bring you, you bring him back Corey Clement every year because nobody else won him. You bring him back Jalen Mills because nobody else won him. You bring him back all these dudes who can't play in this system, this, this Jim Schwartz style system, and it's coming back to bite us big time. It's coming back to bite us big time. Now it's time to start paying some dudes who deserve to get paid, like Zach Ertz. And we have backloaded so many contracts that we really can't find no way to pay Zach Ertz. We can't find a way to pay Zach Ertz. He's drafted terribly. Ortega White side. That's just that's, Ortega White. Listen, I don't care what y'all say about Jalen Hurts. It is a terrible pick. It's a terrible pick, especially when you take into consideration how many holes that are on the defense. And you already having a franchise quarterback and you needing to shore up other spots. It was a terrible pick. We did not need a quarterback. We didn't need a quarterback. And Howie Roseman went out there and made that move. And that move is another move that has bit us severely. It's bitten us severely. Howie Roseman don't go after none of the free agents. He don't use no picks. Howie Roseman thinks that he could win a championship through the draft. You cannot win a championship solely through the draft. Give me the rookie that contributed so much for us in our championship year. Give me the standout rookie. Give me the standout rookie. Corey Clement in the Super Bowl, maybe. He was an undrafted free agent, though. But he was a rookie. 
You know what I'm saying? Just, 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 just give, just, just, just give me this list of rookies and old dudes that can get something done. He can he continuously brings back Vinnie Curry. He brings back the same old dudes, man. It's getting repetitive, man. Go out there and change some stuff up, bruh. Go out there and change some stuff up. And the more and more I think about it, it's starting to strike me that a big contract is going to have to be offloaded. Deshaun Jackson has to be offloaded. Alshon Jeffrey has to be offloaded. They're getting too much money to not even be playing. You know what I'm saying? Not, this is Deshaun's second year in a row. Second year in a row. At least I can say Alshon Jeffrey contributed to the Super Bowl. This is Deshaun's second year in a row. And now you find yourself at the only reason why there's hope for us is because of the failure of other people. Look at the division. It's no coincidence that the Philadelphia Eagles, the, the Giants, Washington football team, and the Dallas Cowboys are in the top five in turnovers. Every team, all, our whole division, four teams are in the top five in turnovers. The only reason why we got a dog in this fight is because the poor play of other people. Howie Roseman need to stop banking. I don't, he, I don't even think he's banking on it. He's just getting lucky. He's getting lucky. The poor play of other people has really saved Howie Roseman's job. It saved this. It's saving his job. You know what I'm saying? Howie Roseman. Howie Roseman is is, is turning into a subpar GM. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and now we now we're at 0 2 and 1, staring at the 49ers who getting Kittle back, who getting Debo Samuel back. You know what I'm saying? We 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 staring down, we staring down Mount Everest, and it all falls on the shoulders of Carson Wentz again. It all falls. On, we we staring at a death sentence, so to speak. And it now it's all about well, what is Carson Wentz going to do? If you want to be honest, what tools has he been given? Give me give, give me another five year quarterback who don't have a thousand yard receiver, who never had a thousand yard receiver. Give me another five-year quarterback who, who, who had to play with what Carson Wentz had to play with. No, he's never had a thousand-yard receiver. You see, the success that we were able to achieve by not how you doing? The success that we were able to achieve by not building is what got us lazy. We we, we found some success by not spending a lot of money, and it got us lazy. And we thought we can keep doing that time and time again. No, sometimes you need to go get you with DeAndre Hopkins. Sometimes you need to go and get you a Jadavion Clowney, somebody that's going to make a splash, a big name. You got to go and do it sometimes. You got to go and do it sometimes. Out of everybody in the division, we don't do it. We got Slay this year, so I guess this year is a positive. But you know what I mean? I want to see more of that move. I want to see more of that. I think we need a new GM. I think that's. I think we need a new GM and we need an offensive coordinator. I think we do. I, I, I don't think Howie knows how to put pieces around Carson Wentz. I don't think he knows how to put pieces around Carson Wentz. We were all excited when he drafted the wide receivers that he drafted because they're all fast. But did he look at durability for some of these guys? Did he look at durability? Now, Jalen Rager got a freak injury. We're not worrying about that. But Quez was on IR not too long ago. Supposedly, he's playing. Deshaun Jackson not playing this week really left a sour taste in my mouth, man. I think it's time to close the door on that chapter. He was great for Philadelphia one time. Wasn't good for us the second time. It's time to close the door on that chapter. It is, man. Let me know what y'all think in the comments.